officially getting rid of stuff for the move. Um, 20 foot container. You see like all the stuff that we've gotten out so far. Um, we pulled out yesterday. Packing up the kitchen and things. I mean, unpacking, you know, packing up the kitchen. And I basically got this for because moving out of a 23 or a little bit close to 24 square foot home and over the years I collected so you know so much stuff and I'm getting rid of a lot of furniture um, I did call um, who do I call Salvation Army St. Vincent de Paul Cancer American Cancer Society um, a few others and no one is doing pickup right now because I wanted to donate to a nonprofit group because I don't want anyone making cash um, off these items and since they're not doing pickup still under COVID restrictions um, they're taking donations you just have to you know take them the items well I don't have the means or the time to um, take the furniture to them so in, in order to declutter and get rid of a lot of stuff I have to throw it out I am doing a garage sale um, my neighborhood my subdivision is doing a garage sale the um, first weekend of June and basically what I'm putting out is like all baby gear, you know, baby stuff that I've been meaning to get rid of. So I think it's going to sell really well because my twins, everything I bought them, I bought everything duplicate. So I don't have anything that I purchased for them single. Everything I purchased them from cribs, from gliders, from swings, from jumper roos, um, bath seats, everything you could think of, I purchased duplicate of. So I'm hoping to get rid of a lot of that stuff um, at the garage sale. Clothes, oh my goodness, a ton and ton and ton and ton and ton of clothes that I purchased for them um, that I want to get rid of from preemie all the way to 12 months. So I got like four bins of clothes um, that I'm hoping to sell and you know all their baby gear, even their cribs. I'm not really taking much furniture with me down to Florida, but um, yeah so this makes it official you want to start we got it we have this container for like 10 days but i'm hoping to have everything gone and out in this dumpster in three days because my basement is full of stuff toys i mean toys galore uh, i'm not taking all this stuff with me um they'll get more toys throughout their birthdays and christmas over the years i'm just trying not to collect no more stuff because i collected a lot of stuff which my kids was calling me hoarder which I wasn't hoarding, it was just that I was hoping to Mama. use it or have someone get it. But anyway, yeah, this makes it official. Um, waste management, container, dumpster, what all they call it. Okay, guys, uh, we got a lot of work to do. Hey, what's up, YouTube family? It's your boy, Daniel Banalis. <laughs> or you can call me Daniel Bobano or Daniel, it doesn't even matter. But it's me and Autumn, and we're on our way to Florida. We just hit Indianapolis. We're on our way to Florida, Florida right now. Anything you want to say, baby? We just hit Indiana, and we got a long way to go. We got like um, about eight hours and 30 minutes. And it's currently 12 39. And let's just do this. Let's get this done. We got the van hauling behind us, and it's a lot of bumps. I have a new self-respect for truck drivers, because car drivers are assholes. Um, yeah, that's good. Well, yup, you heard it here. We're on our way to Florida.
Uh, imagine. So it's gonna take us eight hours to get to Tennessee. Oh, another four hours to play. So imagine. Imagine being a cowboy, you know, or you know, just riding a horse. Those eight hours turn into months. And remember, you gotta make sure the the horses get their rest, fed. You gotta make sure you're fed. You get the rest as well. You know, just imagine that. And I want you all in the comments to tell me how would you feel if you were that person riding that horse from Illinois all the way to Tennessee. Please let me know down in the comments. Yeah? <laughs> you ready to go to your new home? Yeah. Me too. Savannah. 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 Everyone warned us to not um, let the tank go past half, otherwise you will burn more gas. Yeah. So we definitely stopped and I got pizza. And let me show you what this gas station has. Like, it's very neat. Okay, so we're at Pilot and it has a Cinnabon. It has a Taco Bell Subway. And then it also has like pizza and sandwiches and stuff but also on the inside it has like chicken and all different types of southern sides and we haven't even left Indiana yet we're currently still in Indiana so yeah we'll catch you guys <laughs> we'll catch you guys when we um get to our next destination we have arrived, guys. You see y'all. We are now home. Home, home, home. We are official Floridians. Home of Disney World.
We stand in the Little Mermaid Suite while we wait for our U-Haul. We got a U-Haul in my vehicle. Won't be back. We won't be um, to the, our new house until Monday. So when I come to Disney for the weekend, we're in the Little Mermaid um, Suite. Pretty neat. This is Halo's favorite princess out of all the Disney princesses. And so far, we stay at this resort. This is our second time at this resort. The first time we was in the little um, uh, Nemo Suite. Last time we was here. This is your favorite. So I thought we'd check out the Little Mermaid Suite. They're, they're a little on the cheaper side compared to the, the Little ne um, Nemo, Lion King, things like that. And then look at the shower curtain. Wait, Halo. Wait, let me show the shower curtain. Okay. The shower curtain of the little mermaid. And then we open it up. It looks like you're underwater. Look how neat is that. And look at it. Very neat. Very you know, neat. Very detailed when it comes to um, theming. So let's look at this curtain, which separates the room and the bathroom. Look at yeah, that. No one Pretty neat. Yeah. And you have a big flat screen TV. And there's Allegra. Hey, Allegra. And then you have these um, little um, seashell chairs. And then Savannah, she just woke up, guys. She was in a stroller. So that's about it. We're spending our weekend here while we wait for our U-Haul in my vehicle before we go to our new home at Disney. Up that bridge right now. Stay in the left two lanes. There goes the city. Oh, welcome to Kentucky. We're in Kentucky. Kentucky's nice. It's beautiful out here. It really is. Look at that city. There goes the KFC Center right there. Kentucky Fried Yum Center. It's beautiful. It's real beautiful. Look at that. Look at how packed that stadium is. Uh, hopefully I got it. Oh, you guys can still see it. Yep, there it is. Amazing. It's really amazing. <laughs> What's up, YouTube family? We are passing Kentucky right now. We're on our way to Chattanooga, Tennessee. As you can see, this is what we are looking at. And the time is... 7 30. That's Chicago time. Yes, it's Chicago <laughs> time. So that's our time right there. Right. But the time out here is an hour difference. 8 14. <laughs> it's 8 14. So yeah, it's an hour difference. But yeah, this is what Kentucky is looking like right now. And the accents are thick. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I said, where's the I was like, excuse me, where's your restroom? Oh, it's right around the corner over there. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, so we are definitely not in the Midwest anymore. We are in the South for sure. Yes. The <laughs> East Coast. Yup. The East Coast. Like, what's their name? What I'm excited for is all the Cracker Barrels. You see all the Cracker Barrels that we have? Yes. Yes, oh, the Waffle House. Oh, the yeah. Vast I'm telling you right now, folks, these guys are in for a treat because, like, we're going to be all over Florida and these guys are going to be there with us. Yeah. Throughout it all. Oh, yeah. Everything. And I'm excited. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. And we got about, like, four hours until we reach our resting point, which 
like he said, Chattanooga, Tennessee. So you'll see us back when we get there. <laughs> So yeah, I just wanted to give these guys a quick update of what is going on so far. And yeah, this this drive for us has been fun. Like, you know, these guys, get, I advise everybody, our YouTube family, to take a road trip, you know, because this is actually, you know, fun. You know, it's really fun. You see a lot of things. Look at that, look at it. A boot barn. What is that right there? Western wear. That's Western wear. Boot barn, Western wear. Amazing. I recommend um, in a regular car. <laughs> yes. No, regular car. <laughs> yes. Because yes. we're in the U-Haul hauling the family van that's packed to capacity, the U-Haul's packed to capacity. So to make it a little easier, travel in a regular vehicle, like a truck, SUV, whatever is possible. Because <laughs> this can be a little tricky because our first time driving this U-Haul, this far of a distance, along with the trailer. So, we're making it work though. It's not that bad actually, but if you're scared, get a regular vehicle. Because we still have mountains to go down. Yes. Go up and go down. Yes. Night guys, um, we're on our way down to the pool. Um, the previous clip, when we first got here, I was on my phone. I keep leaving this camera. Um, this move was so stressful that I don't even be thinking about this camera. But why not enjoy a Disney resort um, since we waited on our truck. Um, so I think the girls, the girls are really having a good time. So we're in the Little Mermaid, um, it's part of the um, an art of animation. So we got a pool view. This is the smaller pool view. Um, we're on our way to the big pool. That's the. I really like this resort, but, ooh, look at family's name, but here's Ursula. because we have a 300 mile Florida turnpike tomorrow. And I was like, we need to rest. Now, there's a backstory to all this madness of why we're getting the room so late, because it's currently um, like, probably like 150 
here, Easter Standard Time. And I've been up for a full 24 hours. Um, it's been a lot going on, honestly. Um, no fault to anyone, it's just life. Life happens. So we're finally in the hotel. Um, we're getting situated. Daniel's in the shower. I'm next. And this is our room. Let me show you. And, oh, don't mind the mess. We literally, like, came in and just quickly got ourselves together because we've been in the heat for 24 hours, driving around, trying to figure out what's our next move before we finally head off to Florida because that's a long drive. So let me show you. So we have a king-sized bed. Yes. Um... A sofa that turns into a bed. Our swim clothes in case we might want to go swim. Full body mirror. Now I said don't mind because we literally just threw everything together. The kitchenette. The desk area. We got the TV. The little vanity desk with the closet space. Okay, guys, uh, I ain't gonna baby get much of this because guess what? I don't have my extra um, memory card. So this memory what? card only is gonna only got like what 15 minutes on this memory card. Of course, is in my one of my um, moving boxes with all my computer and camera stuff. So I'm gonna try to get as much as I can get. But um, I think we're going to take a little ride on the um, Skyliner, even though we're not going to any parks because um, all the animation we only have. Um, the Skyliner on this one only goes to Hollywood Studios and Epcot. So, but, and they have, it, it goes to um, one of the, two of the other resorts. And I, I said I wanted to go to one of the other resorts. Um, to one of the restaurants there. So we finally got some rest. Um, much needed rest. He slept so hard, I thought he was gone. <laughs> um, but we're sitting here enjoying the BET Awards. The BET Awards has came along with because you don't have these years of, you know, not being so good. And then now it's good. Like this year is amazing. Like Chloe, my favorite, that was my favorite performance. Like she's definitely the Beyonce, like of our generation. Love her. Um, so now Lathan looks so good. I love her. I admire her so much. Um, Giveon, beautiful performance. That song, I can't wait for it to drop. Um, Diddy, oh, wonderful speech, wonderful everything. It was just everything. Like, I loved it all. And Diddy, he said something in his speech, not two seconds from now, but right now. Do what you want to do. Live your dream. Achieve it. Go for it. It's never too late. And that's why I decided because I've decided, not decided, I wanted to be a singer since I was seven. And I finally have the confidence to pursue that. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm officially, I wanna pursue other things as well, but my number one dream, I'm gonna officially pursue. And I can't wait to start working on that. So be on the lookout for that. But um, we're just gonna go enjoy the rest of our night before we hit the road tomorrow. Tomorrow is when we're gonna officially get to Florida. So we're just gonna see how that goes because we got a 300 mile turnpike along with another 59 miles to get out of Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. So yeah, it's been good. How has it been for you? It's been very tiring, but I'm loving it. <laughs> I can't wait to get to Florida already. Yes, um, the weather is beautiful. I love it. Oh, and another thing about the BT War is Mulatto. Like, I love her. She did really good. But yeah, catch you tomorrow. And also, I'll be on the lookout. I will also be streaming Restless Gamer. I will be the Restless Gamer. Um, be on the lookout for that. All right, guys. So we literally packed up and um, started heading out about 10, maybe 9.40. And we're officially at the Florida Turnpike. Yep. 300 miles and we're home. 300. We're here, we're at the home stretch. Um, 
honestly, I can't believe we made it this far. Like, this is our first time, both. Both of our first time doing such a long road trip drive, let alone moving. Like, literally moving to a whole nother state, driving. We've never done this before. Never moved to another state before. We never drove this far before. 1,100 miles, 1,100 is some change. Can you like imagine that? And we're both from Illinois with the Midwest. Like, this is crazy. This is, this is truly crazy. We officially in the Florida Turnpike traffic. And yeah. We're here. Let's and we're gonna of course make stops for gas, but the important part is we've made it. We made it, babe. We made it. Yep, we made it. I'm sorry, I got distracted trying to get it. <laughs> yeah, see. But um yeah, like I'm proud of us. I'm proud of myself. Don't mind my little hat. But I'm proud of myself. That's for, a little trucker hat. <laughs> <laughs> for doing something that I've never done before. Because one thing about me, I'm very determined. I'm a very determined person. So if I want to do something, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I did it. I got us through the mountains. I got us from Illinois all the way to Georgia. To South Atlanta, Georgia. He did like 30 minutes of driving in Atlanta. And that was it. I got us from Illinois to South Atlanta, Georgia. And now he's finishing off the rest. This is great. Uh, my hands were raw yesterday, like almost got calluses um, up here in my glasses. It was raw. It was just, man, it was a lot. It was a lot, it was a lot of driving, a lot, a lot, a lot of driving. And then to not be able to find a hotel um, yesterday night, no, night before last, so like, today is what? What's today? Today is Monday. Monday. So, not to find a hotel Saturday night was terrible. It was truly, 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 truly terrible. Um, but thankfully, we found one Sunday. Um, but yeah, we've made it. See you guys when we go to our next um, gas station stop, right? Yep, next one. All right, we made it to our first stop, which is Pilot. I don't know if you guys can see back there, but gas is $3.95. In Illinois, we're looking at almost $6. And we're at the 300 mile turnpike of Florida. Like, and then let me show you what we have here, like I did the last pilot, because I got more Cinnabons. Look at that, Arby's, Cinnabon. It's doing it up there again too. All right, guys. That's a big difference from six dollars. Yeah. I'll tell you that. I'm tired of paying six dollars for gas. It's it's crazy. It's insane. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We're about to head back in and uh, go ahead and get back on board. And Hannah, look. We got a Zaspies over there. You see that? Got a Zaspies. Hey, 
Just stop right there. Don't do that no more. Don't do that no more. Go. Look at it. Ugh. 